Welcome back to Adventure Pete. It's glad to see you here. So if this is your first time here, make sure you like the video. Comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to hear about. And subscribe. we got a lot of great content coming, a lot of great content on the channel, so be sure to check it out. What we're talking about today is actually a front hitch receiver we're going to put on this 2024 Chevrolet 2500 HD. Why a front hitch receiver? So this is the cheapest way and the easiest way to mount a winch on these trucks because these bumpers... You really can't mount a winch to them and there's not a really good place to build a base bracket things like that they don't really sell them as an option so the only way to really mount a winch is replace the entire thing with a hitch bumper itself which is expensive kind of unnecessary and kind of overbuilds the project so i like to have a winch on my truck just as a backup because sometimes you get stuck going down two tracks sometimes other people do Sometimes you're in uh, slippery, icy situations where it just helps to have, to have one. And being in Michigan, it helps to uh, extract other vehicles out of the ditch. Yeah, a tow strap and a hitch works, and tow hooks do work, but a winch is always a safer option for me. So, they do make front hitch receivers for this truck. There's a couple different styles out there. To me, they look uh, pretty ugly. Or they require cutting up way into this plastic, the bumper and things like that. And they just, they stand out and they're, they're very terrible. So what we have is actually my old front receiver for my 2003 1500 HD, which is the same as a 2500 HD. And this hitch receiver will actually bolt up on this frame rail. The frame rails are nearly identical. The only difference is, is you just got to trim this little piece of plastic right there to get this to fully seat up in the frame rail. The way these were originally built is they had a 500 pound tongue load and a 9,000 pound max winch line pull. So they were originally designed for using winches and it mounted by two bolts on each side. One bolt here that went through the side tow hook and then one bolt at the back side on each side <coughs> that went through the back tow hook mount. So four bolts, that was all that held this thing in and it was rated for those kind of pound rings, which is actually pretty phenomenal for how strong it is for just a couple mounting bolts. So just like any hitch receiver, it has a two inch receiver itself. You can see it mounts down. This thing has been modified and a little different because I also use this as the base bracket for my plow because I built a plow for my old truck. Actually I built the plow for the first truck, then remodify it to fit the new truck. And now I am rebuilding it for this truck as well. So the difference is you will see down here. Initially it just came down. I added a bracket initially to give me winch mounting points. So it worked from there. Now with this new truck, I made another leg and come up to the other side of the frame rail just to give it extra support, extra mounting. Not a required thing, but that is what I did. So you can see that's a bolt. That was the original bolt, that was the slot. I added a hole there and there, so I gave it extra mounting on each side just for more strength and support with this newer truck. This has been repainted because I welded, added on, so we repainted it because it was getting pretty old and beat up. But that's all there is to it. You can see that is the notch that we did right there. So the only thing we're really doing, the only thing we've changed with this truck is we've notched it and drilled a couple holes in the frame rails on each side just for the mounting bolts themselves. And that's all it takes to install this from an older truck. So just because it's an older truck, this inch receiver will still work for it. And we'll show you how it's done. Down here looking at the frame rails, there was a bumper cross bracket here that I took out just to give more room to be able to access. So up here there's one bolt hole drilled. We have another one drilled on the exact opposite side for the other side of the hook. And then that one right there is drilled for the rear hook hole itself. So they do have this factory hole, that's what they call for plow mounts and things like that. So if you buy a bracket kit for this truck, it's going to utilize this hole and also that bolt up there. But we're not doing that, so I just have the holes on both sides there and there. That's how it's going to mount and support this. It runs along right here in front of this splash guard with the same set of holes drilled on the other side. And it's just as simple as that. So the frame horns themselves are relatively close to being exactly the same as the older trucks. So this is how it looks down here. All bolted up. So you still have plenty of room to access the splash guard and get that out of the way. If you need to service anything from the front end, like the serpentine belts and all that kind of stuff like that, so that's still accessible. It's not in the way of anything that's in there, and you can still get to it. It looks clean, it's accessible, and the nice thing about it is it's low profile. This one's not sticking out at all. 
So it's out of the way. I like the look of it and it's easy to do. Front receivers, different things like that, winch mount, it'll work out pretty nice. So that was installation of a front hitch receiver on the front of these 2024 Chevrolet 2500 HD. With some basic hand tools and a morning's worth of your time, you can install one that's pre-made for these trucks or you can make and modify an old one to fit on them as well as I've done myself. So I like to use it for a winch because our travels and things that we do, having a winch as a backup has been very helpful and very handy. We've used ours multiple times. This is just an older one that I've had from the old truck itself. So I still need to wire it in, but that's a different day. So in the end, it's been very helpful to have for us to have a front hitch receiver on our trucks. We have used the front hitch with a pintle to move a trailer around before, so it's been very convenient. So that is the front receiver. So hopefully you like the video. Comment, tell us what you think, tell us what else you want to hear about, and subscribe. We got a lot of great content coming, a lot of great content on the channel, so be sure to check it out. And remember to have a great adventure.